Why, hello there, and thank you for joining us today on the Pedal Picasso's. My name is Matt. Today we are looking at the Demi Dash FX T60 analog modulator. Now, this is um, supposed to model the sound of an old um, tape videotape of all things, a uh, machine just getting worn out, broken, and going to hell and dying. Um, and I've got to say, they've done a really great job. Excuse me while I just adjust my microphone now. They've uh, done a fantastic job of um, simulating this, and the, the stereo width in this pedal is fascinating and massive. It is so wide. It's the first thing I noticed as soon as I stepped on it, how wide the stereo field was. <laughs> So if you're a true lover of uh, full-on stereo width, uh, this is absolutely one of the pedals for you. It is a beauty. I've got it going into the Strymon Iridium today on the Fender setting. Um, just so, because uh, the, the Iridium lets me plug in in full stereo and, and so you can hear the full width of everything. I'm, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So it's a pretty complicated pedal and there's a fair bit to get through. So I'm going to stop yabbering and show you some sounds. So first of all, we've got the depth knob. Um, for anyone who's familiar with chorus pedals will know what the depth knob does. Back up at 12 o'clock. And yes, those of you that were wondering, I was listening to Faith No More before I started playing the video. <laughs> so there's a pretty uh, wide, wide uh, variation of depth there. I'm gonna leave the depth up fairly high so we can all hear exactly what's going on here. So I'm gonna show you the rate now. From pretty slow. To pretty fast. Now, those of you that watch the channel regularly will know that I'm um, I'm obsessed with um, random modulation and things that uh, like the Fairfield circuitry, shallow water, and the Hungry Robots Warden Cliff. Just anything that gives you a random um, waveform is pretty cool. And this is doing it fantastically. Right now, you might notice the pink letters. So if you look around um, the rate knob there, there is also some different subdivisions in pink. You access them by holding down uh, the, this engage button. You, uh, by holding it down and turning the knob to whichever subdivision you want. And then you can actually tap in your tempo with this one, which is pretty cool. But at the moment, as you can see by the yellow light sort of going off all over the place, it's in full random mode at the moment, doing random awesome things. Now the mix knob is pretty self-explanatory. You can have it full wet. Which pretty much turns it into a random vibrato pedal, which is awesome. Full dry, of course. And right in the middle, of course, gives you 50-50, which is like any good chorus pedal or flanger pedal phaser pedal to get that swirly lush yumminess now with the mix on uh, full wet it's a good time to show you the EQ because out of the box EQ only affects the wet signal So you can have it nice and dark or a little bit lo-fi and sort of midi. That's dark. 
Then you can sort of get that little, almost like it's coming through a telephone or a bad, you know, walkie talkie. Now, again, if you hold down this button here, the uh, alt button and actually turn the EQ knob, you can affect the entire signal, uh, your wet and dry signal at the same time. Cool. Now, the lag actually increases the amount of... Uh It gives you more depth, I guess, and uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's supposed to emulate the tape actually lagging behind your dry signal. Now remember, I've got the depth up pretty high here. I wouldn't normally run it this high, but I've got it up nice and high so you can all hear it. adds a lot to the texture of the LFO, which is pretty cool. Now, this is my favorite knob. The last one is the chop knob, and the chop adds really sharp peaks and changes the shape of the LFO. So instead of it just sort of being a, si a random sine wave, nice smooth sine wave, it makes it a random choppy, choppy wave, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna crank it all the way up and show you. So you can hear all the different little chops in there. I'll just back everything off a little bit just so you can sort of get a good sense of what it's actually doing. Now with its uh, the wet, the uh, dry signal mixed back in a little to give it sort of more of that chorus effect. It's so random. It's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the um, the depth and the lag back up now to make it really obvious. And of course, what sort of demo would this be if I didn't just dime everything and just show you exactly how crazy it gets? All right, here we go. Depth all the way up, right all the way up, lag all the way up, chop all the way up, EQ and mix right in the middle just so we get a nice spread of everything. <laughs> I don't know what's happening inside that videotape machine, but that tape is really getting chewed. <laughs> I'll give you a listen to that now, just the actual wet mix, just so you can hear it. All right, I think this is where I'd like to run it. I think this is where I'd run it. Maybe a little less choppy. I'll just let a few notes ring out just so you can hear the modulation. Now, uh, the only thing of note, uh, and I remember I'm always positive, I try to be positive about every single pedal we get, besides the fact that this is a spectacular random modulation generator, it does only have sort of TRS in and TRS out, so you will need a TRS cable 
to a wire cable to run it into the left and right outputs of a reverb pedal or a delay pedal or something like that. Um, so I'm running a little TRS cable from the output of the Demi Dash into the, the TRS input of the Iridium, which actually works really well because it's just TRS to TRS with one cable. So um, just bear that in mind if you're running a full stereo rig. Um, most guys that would buy a pedal like this would be running, you can guarantee they'll be running a full stereo rig because um, that's the beauty of this pedal and that's exactly what it's for. So I hope you found that useful. This is an amazing pedal. Um, I'm really, really in love with it. I can't wait to run some synths through it for you all to have a listen to, um, especially a mono synth like the uh, the the uh, Moog Grandmother, which and this will break it up into stereo for you beautifully and add some real character to it. I think, especially with that being able to EQ the dry signal and the wet signal separately, that'll be amazing on synth. So I'll try and do that for you as well. If you haven't hit the uh, subscribe button, please do it. Um, it helps the channel out a lot and uh, makes all of this worthwhile. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.